We have this marvellous operation now called cataract plus procedures or also known as minimally or micro-invasive glaucoma surgery and as somebody who does these procedures regularly and who's very experienced in them I find it a wonderful opportunity. I'm almost glad sometimes when my glaucoma patient has cataracts too because it means that by trying to improve their vision with the surgery I can also make their glaucoma treatment less onerous or much easier for them to cope with. So at the time of your cataract operation we could spend five or ten minutes at the end of that procedure so we're already inside the eye anyway we don't need to make any special extra cuts or incisions in the eye, we use the same things that we would do when we're actually doing the cataract operation to either put a little micro stent inside the eye at the same time or we might use a laser treatment inside the eye to reduce the amount of fluid that your eye is producing internally and both of those things can really help reduce your need for drops in the long term. So it makes absolute sense to me that if you are a glaucoma patient who's using drop treatment and you're told that you have cataracts as well, that you should ask your specialist specifically about whether the cataract operation can be used to help treat your glaucoma as well. Because imagine if you're on one drop only before the operation and I'm able to say to you, well, I think there's a really good chance that after the operation we may be able to stop these drops for a period of time. Even if that's only two years, three years or five years, I still think it's a worthwhile consideration because any period of time off drops I think is very helpful to the patient. And as we grow in experience in using these devices, we have lots of data that we can share with you. Not all implants are suitable for all people. Um, my experience in particular is in using um, the outflow stents such as the eye stent, um, and the suprachoroidal stents, which are, have been very effective in reducing eye pressure, but also the laser treatment. In my NHS contract, we have been doing the, the laser inside the eye for more than 10 years now and have the largest um, patient database of, um, of people who've undergone this treatment. So we're very experienced in assessing which of these micro or minimally invasive treatments might be right for you. What I would say is I think, I think all patients would expect their specialist to appraise them of all the options that are available. And I think sometimes, if you're not used to some of these newer techniques, that may not be discussed with you. And I think it can be a missed opportunity. I think most of the risk, and the risk is low from cataract surgery, but most of the risk comes from infection. And if you're inside the eye already, it makes absolute sense to me that you use five or 10 minutes at the end of that procedure to help the other condition that your eye has. And if you're an insured patient, the vast majority of these stents or laser treatments are covered by your insurer, so it's not an optional add-on or an expensive add-on. Um, and in terms of cost effectiveness, if you are self-funding your treatment, again, I would encourage you to think about it because in the longer term, it can save you money because of you know, reduced needs for prescriptions, the time that you take around ordering and renewing your prescriptions and the admin around that. So minimally or microinvasive glaucoma surgery as part of a cataract operation is here to stay and our experience with it is only going to grow so don't be afraid to ask your specialist about whether it might be suitable for you because the implications it can have on your life afterwards not only are you going to hopefully have much better vision from the surgery but if we can also render you less drop dependent or even drop independent wouldn't that be lovely for you if you're used to taking the drops to suddenly not have to think about them anymore so definitely worth exploring and I would always appraise or advise glaucoma patients who are having cataract surgery to see a glaucoma specialist who can do both procedures for you because then you know that you'll get the best option for you.